Hey everybody, Michelle is here. I want to take a break from uh, learning some stuff on the computer. I'm constantly learning and I put out a post a while ago that says learning is forever. And that's true. You're going to be learning something forever. And let me share something about you. Let me share something with you when you know that you have healed. Okay, when you know that you have healed, the uh, triggers no longer trigger you. You can think about the uh, traumatic events that happened to you and you don't have th that emotional attached to them. I want to share something though to be very mindful of when you are in the process of being healed. When you are getting to that healing point, chances are you're going to be experiencing some of that, that pain and trauma that and bleeding metaphorically that caused you to be in a state of crisis. Each one of us have something that has happened in our lives, but we have to come to a healing point. We have to be healed. So trust yourself to know when you're healed. I know I'm healed. Uh, I know what it feels like to be in the process of healing and then in the process of being healed. And I hope to share that with some that resonates with that. These journeys, these life experiences, these journeys are not easy. So anybody coming forward and telling you anything other than that, just be mindful of why they're telling you things are easy. Doesn't mean that they are not joyful or enthusiastic. I mean, you don't have any fun with it, but pay attention to when people say stuff, everything's easy, especially when it comes to healing. Because you need to get to a point of being healed. That way you can understand and not be triggered again. A lot of people get triggered, triggered, triggered over and over again because they're not properly healed. So there's going to be a lot of things coming forward. A lot of people are going to be collapsing. A lot of people are going to be going through some difficult moments in their lives and you may not even know about it. Some people are, so are fantastic at hiding their feelings and hiding their emotions and hiding their trauma and hiding their pain and this and that and the other. But the results speak for themselves. Pay attention, pay attention to people that are possibly hoarding that you may not be aware of. Pay attention to how people are eating, might be binging. Okay, pay attention to how people are uh, uh, entertaining themselves. Do they drink by themselves, you know? Those are the kind of things that you're going to have to, if you decide to, especially if it's as your partner, okay, your wife, your husband, and some of the most difficult relationships that you're going to have in your life will be with your partner, okay? And some of those most breakthrough moments will be with your partner, your husband, your wife, you know, your significant other. So... As you are getting to a, a point of being healed, be mindful because you can be triggered and then get right back into the spin again. Okay? People are going to call you crazy during your healing process. People are going to call you crazy in general. And those are the things that you do not want to have triggering in you. That's why you need to suspend your ego, suspend the labeling you're giving yourself, suspend your beliefs, and be vulnerable. But understand what that means. To be vulnerable is not allowing yourself to be attacked, bullied. Being vulnerable is just opening yourself up. But know that you can trust yourself. Okay, that your and your ego is also there to protect you as well, by the way. So allow yourself to be vulnerable. Allow yourself to open up into some different life experiences. But keep in mind, no one has to know. So enjoy coming to a healed process instead of staying in that spin of healing. Okay, it's going to feel different because you've never experienced it before. But trust yourself and allow yourself to go there. Okay, peace and love. And trust me, I'll be back.